I am jumping on the bandwagon with this new insane Photoshop generative tool. Let's check it out and just do a quick tutorial on just how amazing this thing is. This is crazy, I can't even speak. So you can generate objects, you can generate backgrounds, you can extend images, you can remove objects, and so much more. If you have an Adobe Creative Cloud account and you have access to Photoshop within that account, then you have access to this new beta tool within Photoshop, Generative Tool. So what you're gonna wanna do is go into the Adobe Creative Cloud, go into Apps, then beta apps, and then you see Photoshop beta. You'll wanna go ahead and install. It will load, and then you're ready to go, and you're off to the races to Photoshop in this insane new tool. Let's check it out. Here I have an image of me in Austin, Texas, and it's super hot. You can see the dripping sweat off the tip of my nose. So I really wanna show you how easy this is. I am by no means a Photoshop expert. I'm not even close. And a lot of the times I have to look up a lot of the shortcuts and features on how to get around and maneuver in Photoshop. So that won't be much different here today, but I wanna show you how easy this is if you do have Photoshop. Let's get right into it. Again, this is an insane new update. So I have the rectangular marquee tool here. Just gonna select a rectangular area and I'm just going to hit generative fill and then I'm going to add, I'm just gonna put clouds. You can type anything in, but if you don't wanna type anything, you can hit generate and a lot of times it will try to figure out what you want there, but if you really wanna be specific, then just add a few words there and prompt it. And it'll take a second. And there you go, you have three selections as you can see off here to the right. You have a couple choices. They all look pretty good. And if you don't like those choices, you can generate once again and it'll give you three more selections. All right, here's three more selections. I think it did a pretty good job. Um, I'm gonna go back to that first select, or I think it was the second selection right there because you do see over the right side or to the left of the frame that it is pl pretty blown out because the sun is right behind uh, my head there and it understands where the light is coming from. So as you can see, the clouds have the right light angle, if you will, and I think it does a pretty good job does a pretty good job. So you can add anything. You could have written moon in there and it would have put a moon in there. You could have written basketball in there, it would have put a basketball in there. So the Adobe Photoshop generative tool is accessing the Adobe stock photo catalog to generate these images and also draw on the background to be able to fill in the blanks with all of the stuff that it's trying to do here within this crazy, again, insane tool. All right, now let's do something a little nutty. So now what I wanna do is extend the top above my cap and see if I can extend the image a little bit. So we will, let's see, select and then extend the image a little bit and then we'll select that area. All right, pretty good, I suppose. Let's just hit generative fill without adding any text and see what it does with the sky and see what it does with my cap. Okay, it uh, left this area a little funky here, but that's not the worst part of it. Uh, that one's not too bad. I didn't outline it very well, uh, but let's just go with this one. That, that actually looks pretty darn good right there. It added hair. There's a little bit of funkiness going on with this area right here with the crossover on uh, the buttons here of the strap, but nonetheless, not too bad. Let's see if we can try to fix that by perhaps outlining the cap. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty much a novice at Photoshop. I'm not, like I said, an extrovert by any stretch of the imagination. And that's pretty rudimentary, right? That outline. So let's go generative fill and let's say replace baseball cap. I should probably just leave it the way it is, but 
We're experimenting, right? Okay, that hat's a little better, but I would say that I'm a little bald in this area and I know I do have hair. I do have hair there. So that being said, I'm not happy with that one, but look at that. That's a whole new hat. Hair's in there, you know, it's underneath the cap. It did a good job here of outlining it here. I am pretty happy with that. And of course I could have done a better job here on the edges, but again, wow, wow. This is crazy nuts. Let's do this now. Let's take this same part of the image and extend it this way. Let's get the selection tool. Let's select it from the top up here, down to the bottom and over. And let's see what happens. You see part of the lake there. Let's just hit generative fill and generate without telling it anything and see what it can do to duplicate and create a whole lake. I know what it looked like over there, but if it comes out with anything even close, I'm gonna be amazed. Wow, this is pretty good. Again, I, I messed up a little earlier on that, uh, so it's, it's not looking, <laughs> look at that, it's nutty. But forget about that top right corner. Look at down here, this is pretty, pretty good pretty good and as you can see the image is soft back here the original part of the image so it continues that softness and keeps that same method of the how the shot was actually created so amazing okay i know this up in the corner is an amazing again remember i'm not an expert here but you can see the power of this tool in the hands of a novice. Imagine if you get a little bit better and you practice a little more. You can do some crazy cool things and it might come in handy in a pinch. All right, let's take a look at one more image. Here on the screen is my nephew. This is his reveal party. He's here with his girlfriend hugging right in the center. This is my brother right here in the blue. And let's just try. This is a pretty intricate scene. It's got a lot going on. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, again, take my rudimentary skills and just kind of use this lasso tool to kind of, oh gosh, got a little crazy around that. Oh, not doing great. So Photoshop, save me, even this non-expert. But if there's something maybe you wanted to get rid of, let's do generative fill. Let's just generate without any text and let's see what happens. I'm going to be super amazed if it just, he goes away and it looks pretty decent. I mean, there's a lot going on behind him. It's got a regener, oh, not bad, not bad, but look at this, this, and that, might, that might have to do with my outline, but oh, that's a little better. That's a little better. That's not bad. You know what? All right, give me another chance at outline. All right, let's try this again. Not saying it's gonna be any better, but let's give it a go. Come on, Photoshop, have my back. Okay. I'm liking this a little better, I'll take it. Uh, it regenerated the, the little backdrop here. If we try a different one, that one not so much. That one's not too bad. Uh, I'll just, I'll take this first one here. I like that the banner's intact here and it generated some items back here on the table. So now let's get a rid, rid of this gentleman here who is the daughter's dad. So. We're just getting rid of the dads. Nothing against you dads, I love you guys. Uh, but let's get rid of the dads just for today. Just for today. And let's see what happens here. Okay. Again, not an expert, but there you go. Generative fill, generate. Let's see what happens. 
All right, not too bad. I don't know what it did here. It added another present. Oh, there's something else. Yeah, added a little uh, vase, if you will, and added something back here, maybe a little lighter, extended the light. We uh, kind of bring these back. There's the sir. So uh, it actually did take a little sampling of this light and it, it did a pretty good job. That's not too shabby. So I just wanted to share this tool with you. Go and try it if you have access to Photoshop. It's just a nutty tool along with content and aware fill and all the other crazy things that Photoshop can do. This is a really neat tool in a pinch if you need to remove something and have confidence in it removing it. It can do the simple jobs, but it can do some intricate jobs as well. All right, till the next one, y'all. Peace. I love you.